PerfectMatch.com, Spark, eHarmony, Love and Seek, and Chemistry. Tell me I am just an internet step away from saying I do. I write profiles, send messages, and pay subscriptions, but none of that brings me closer to you. Television models wearing the latest fashion make me think maybe I should do that too. So I buy new glasses and stylish clothes, but none of that brings me closer to you. Healthy eating, exercise, and dancing on too. and a cunt. You can say what you will, there isn't much I can do but to sit and to wait until your bitching is through. But <laughs> insults aside, being female has perks. Aside from the fact that our opposers are jerks, they may belch while they sit and stand while they pee, but thanks to these fellas, we get our drinks free. <laughs> I feel blessed because my motivation and my aspirations cause me not to accept anything less from the man that I want to be, becoming the man that I am going to be. Be this fire inside must be given by some other entity. I guess that is because of my deep-rooted spirituality. I feel it as this wind pushing me, but I don't ever feel measured. It's this standard I give myself to live up to, but I don't ever feel measured. With every line I spit, my pen tip touches the paper, trying to make my words rhyme so you'll listen to me. But they don't. They just portray my feelings so that maybe one person can understand me. Now I'll go back to Ron to make this sound pretty. If you don't like my poem, just say you do, because that will affect me positively. Actually, it might not affect me at all. Um, I want to try something. So, like, call and response stuff. So if I say chill, you say out. So chill. Out. So chill. Out. Man, you don't have to run 24 7 day in, day out. Running from waking up to coffee to a quick toothbrush on the shower, driving your car although you're kind of sleepy, arriving at work, talk to people, having a break, take a smoke although you're not smoking but it allows you to have a short sit in, catching up with your colleagues, then running home after work, maybe, maybe home, changing clothes, kissing your partner, having dinner, running to gym, working out, meeting your buddies, having some drinks, driving home, not seeing the light, morning break. Because I love you and want to say it clothed in sea lace, I have been walking around for weeks now with a memo pad and a Walgreens pencil. I'm here, you say, by Central Park. I'm cold. When can you get here? And I'm thinking, where do those ducks actually go in winter? And did you know that when you were born, I wanted to call you Phoebe like the moon, but we called you Bright Truth instead? No matter how still and small I become, I think I will always be craning something in search of you. But even here on the corner of 6th Avenue, reception is not great. My voice, you say, keeps breaking up. My head, it feels, is doing the same. It's 5.15. On Capitol Hill, the men are about the business of iniquity. Peruse the NYT is just the way it always seems to me. Daily doses of toast with a pineapple of global tragedy. More foes than most, because we always in somebody's genes. Has it ever even occurred to someone that it ain't good for a nation to live by the gun? Forget about the Alamo, the Alamo of the battles we actually won, because every gun slinger will see his last ride in the sun. How many nations can we continue to alienate? Big dog, play God, manifest, someone fit, you know? In our own blind hubris, it goes. Bang in, we keep it coming every time this shit. Bang in, everybody like, please see, don't leave me hang. I keep them coming back. 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 And they always on my back, asking where that new banger at. I keep it banging, banging just for the fans. Shorty over there talking. Come on, baby. She means nothing. I swear, language is my second love. You're still number one. Just because I slip out of bed at odd nighttime hours to write sonnets about some seductive dark lady doesn't mean that I've stopped caring for you. I admit to committing acts of adultery, but isn't that what grown-ups eventually go on to do? Try to be adults about each scandalous ordeal? So I want you to think of me. Raining on 
to your skin. When the sun is too hot and too bright, you cannot see. You cannot feel. Only the heat will keep you comfortable. One more clap right now. To Brooklyn and I like to see what's good. Come on, Brooklyn, what's good? Uh, Brooklyn, what's good? Uh, Brooklyn, what's good? Uh, Brooklyn, what's good? What uh, girl? I'm taking you to flat. But so don't trip when we the Spanish Kush and chill with United next to contradiction. No, I am not giving up on you yet, because the person who looks at me is different than the mural of flesh and tattoos that access your wall between you and the onslaught of crying minds like mine. And I can't help it if I am a theologian of human behavior. And what I read when I read you is that both your action and inaction are fear-based. Body language says, I am afraid to give too much because you might want more, but I will acquiesce your need for random interaction because I also fear you might completely disappear. You. If the people and their past brethren UPSed me a thousand elevators, I would curate an exhibition of holdups. Call it the Elevator Trauma Series. El Diario will get a hard on when news breaks that memories lodged in the gut will now budge loose onto captions for public view. Visitors will remain speechless and suspicious with their sole guide handheld devices. Press them to their ears and feel the pulse of one elevator stuck, gagged, motionless, between floors. Elevators strike different poses in the show. Let's go back. Picture. You were a youth. Kind of whack with that wide ass gap between your tooth. Let's bring it back. Knapsack flung back over your shoulder. Hat tilt, make you look a little older. Make your friends laugh out loud. You're a star class clown, a class act. Try to act natural when you run past that single Asian-American face in the class. Another excuse, another lie. Just another reason for me to realize how much I no longer care about you. You just cry your rivers until they stretch in the seas big enough to drown me in your apologies. I pull myself from the ocean of your tears, wet with emotion, and drown my thoughts, then towel full of memories, all willing to give you another chance, but only to realize I'm standing there sand and bedded with the sharp edges of all our broken dreams. I was naive, your love was like candy, artificially sweet, I was deceived by the rapping. When I was growing up from a five to adult, I was not much of people. Um, friends treat me like an ATM machine. <laughs> Woman, dog was shit. Schoolmates, uh, punch it back. Teacher thought I'm another dumb nigga going to jail. This my song right here. Just turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. I'm here. The drama. Let's go. This right here, everybody can relate to this. You wake up, you know, think about money, you know? A little something, a little light.
In an all too true testament to the fact that opposites don't always attract, he wore them so his boxers could be seen in the back, Marky Mark style. Must have wanted to get some good vibrations from his little tattooed superstar girlfriend across from me on the other side. Uh, this poem is a love poem. Uh, it's, it's what I thought love was and, and what I know what love is. It's called, yeah, but not like this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I've been in love before. I know the feeling. It's warm embrace. The smell of it sweetly lingers like warmth from the sun. Long gone, still caressing my face. It was a sweet love, uncontested, but true love nonetheless. My young heart knew no better. To me, this was love as I thought it should be. But as time went by, my definition of love evolved, changing. Yeah, I don't know. I used to beat up kids, and now they got 65 days off. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> so I decided to do some poetry. Here we go. <clears throat> some people always want to talk to me about struggle when I tell them, please don't talk to me about struggle if you know where your next meal comes from. Talk to me about struggle only after you witness policemen throw your mother down a flight of stairs in your night. What's up, bro? Ice age. What a rage. She still got my heart. But what really do you mean? She hasn't been on the scene, but what can melt that part? Holy mammoth, save it to top. I'll give anything for her to bring her butt nakedness on a platter. <laughs> Baby, I'm tripping, I'm slipping in this foreign land. And the only consolation is if this flip takes me to a place where my imagination can. Dance in a haze of amazing some of the ways like an attic where she is, is my fiend. As I crave in this age and this cave of forgotten dreams. She pulled on my heartstrings and them things. And